They haven't had an easy life and they take this baggage with them and it really, you know, you can see that it, they start to do things that are not healthy for themselves. They have an intervention uh, with the law and they are placed in juvenile hall. Um, this program is helping them to realize that they have a role in, in their own destiny. The mission of the Art of Yoga Project is to lead teen girls in the California juvenile justice system toward accountability, accountability to self, to others, and community by providing practical tools to effect behavioral change. So, it's, um, it's a bold approach, but it's remarkably practical. The yoga and creative arts curriculum, which is the cornerstone of our program, combines a vigorous physical practice of yoga. We, we really work these girls out. Um, meditation for calming and centering and grounding. Um, breathing techniques for the same, really. Um, so that in the moment, they have that impulse control and anger management. Um, and the creative expression as alternatives to uh, self-destructive behaviors and combining all those things and now they are an integral part of the rehabilitation programs right now in the juvenile justice system. And so what the yoga does is gives them an opportunity to look inside of themselves. They can see who they can become and I think this yoga really frees them and enables them to have a better life a more positive view of themselves and really live what we try to teach in this class. The foundation of this work is this age-old wisdom of yoga, 5,000 years old. When we get in the room we focus on the eight limbs so they learn um, the yamas and the niyamas and they make slogans about those ten universal moral principles of non-lying, non-stealing and personal integrity and sexual mindfulness and they, they learn about all those through writing and journaling. The therapists will say that they come out of yoga and they can articulate their feelings more. They can work through things that come up and then they can write about it. They can draw, paint, they can work together to create a mural and, and let me tell you how profound it is for girls from different gangs to come together and paint a nine by six mural side by side, you know, so oftentimes they're not in the same room together except in the yoga room. The girls, um, they come in the room and they have this sort of gang background and sort of a bravado and the, the vigorous physical practice kind of breaks that down. They, they're kind of surprised like, wow, this is hard, you know, and it, they shed away some of that bravado and they come to a connection with their best self, their most authentic self. Flight, my spirit soars, seeing far, reaching new heights. I become more of who I really am. I saw so many young women struggling with anxiety, eating disorders, substance use, teen pregnancy, all these things, kind of a self-loathing, and I recognized that in my former self before I had um, really come to yoga, and I so wanted them to um, be able to, to find something to really relieve that suffering, and I felt that the medical practice and, and really psychotherapy even often fell short um, to help these young women. Certainly this kind of organization has, has the challenge of the stigma of, well, you're teaching yoga, that's nice. But you know what? It's more than that. It's really teaching them a new way of life. It's teaching them self-resilience. Um, it's teaching them empowerment 
self-respect and responsibility for themselves and for their community. What I noticed my kind of aha moment was as, an, as a nurse practitioner was that I could do a lot of health education and I could say just say no or pr practice safe sex or take this prescription that I'm carefully writing out for you. But unless a young woman really cared about herself, she wasn't really going to do these things or certainly not sustain it. So it was really starting with that fundamental uh, self-respect. Almost universally the girls say this, that they use their breathing techniques you know, off the mat, out in the world. They go home for the weekend, sometimes they go in passes, and they'll say, you know, something came up for me, and then they use that to take that, that break and make better decisions.